find the quadratic function that fits the data points 0, 0, 3, 0, and 5, 2. Let's start by thinking what we mean by a quadratic function. It means a function of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Writing this out tells us that what we need to find are these numbers a, b, and c, these coefficients. We're given three pieces of information. We're given that these three points are part of this, would make this function true. So we can actually fill in for f of x and x and leave a, b, and c like they are. If f of 0 is 0, then we have 0 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. If f of 3 is 0, then we have 0 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. And if f of 5 is 2, we have 2 equals a times 5 squared plus b times 5 plus c. And what we really have now is three equations in three unknowns that we can solve. Simplifying this, we, this simply tells us that 0 equals c. This tells us that 0 equals 9a, that's 3 squared a, plus 3b plus c. And this tells us that 2 equals 25a plus 5b plus c. Now, we can, we, if we know that 0 is c, we can put 0 in for here. And that gives us equations 0 equals 9a plus 3b, and 2 equals 25a plus 5b. What you see here now is a system of two equations in two unknowns, a and b. If we solve this, we would find that a is 1 fifth, b is negative 3 fifths, and we can see from up here that c is 0. Now the very last step, since we're asked to find the function, is to substitute these numbers back in for a, b, and c in the general form of the quadratic function. So we have f of x equals ax squared would be 1 fifth x squared, bx would be negative 3 fifths x, plus c would be plus 0, which we don't need to write. So this is the quadratic function that fits those data points.